In this video, I'll be showing you how to install the ADB drivers or platform tools on Windows 10. ADB stands for Android Debug Bridge and it is a command line tool that allows you to communicate with your smartphone, smartwatch, tablet or anything that runs the Android operating system. And yes, this includes even emulators. It's Ndafara from NKT Studios and on this channel we cover technical tutorials just like this one as well as software demos. This video is part of a series that we're calling Community Requests where we create videos that you have asked us in the comments or on social media. Now let's get into it. Installing ADB drivers on Windows 10 is a four step process and the steps are 1. Downloading the ADB drivers or platform tools 2. Extracting the ADB drivers or platform tools 3. Enabling developer options on our device and turning on USB debugging and lastly, testing the ADB drivers or platform tools. There is a bonus step at the end which will make your life easier so watch till the end. So just open your browser, as you can see I'm on Google Chrome and then search for platform tools. On the results, select the one which is from android.com which is this one. When it opens up, under the download section, select download SDK platform tools for Windows as this is a Windows 10 demonstration. Read the terms and conditions and then click on the checkbox to confirm that you have read and you agree to the terms. And then click on the button that says download Android SDK platform tools for Windows. This concludes the first part, which is downloading the ADB drivers or platform tools. Now let's go on to the second part, which is extracting the ADB drivers. So just go to the download location, right click on the file and select extract here. It will extract it to a folder called Platform Tools, as you can see here. We have this folder in our downloads location, but it's better to have this folder in a central location like the C drive. So I'm just going to go inside the folder, which is Platform Tools, and then select everything and cut it. And then I'm going to go to my C drive and then create a folder called ADB. Inside this folder that I've created, that's where I'm going to paste the contents. If you don't have access to the C drive, you can just create the ADB folder in your documents. At this point, we can use the ADB tools from this folder. Now we need to enable the developer options and then turn on USB debugging on our device. Now on your Android device, just go to settings, then scroll down until you get about phone, and then select it, and then select software information. To get the build number. Now we have to tap the build number seven times to enable developer options. It will tell you the number of times left after you tap it a couple of times. So let me just tap it about four times. As you can see it says you are now three steps away from being a developer. Let me tap it again and again and the last time. It might ask you for a pin or it might not. In this case it has asked me to enter my pin so I'm just going to put my pin and then accept. As you can see, developer mode has been enabled. Now if I go back to settings and then just scroll up and down to refresh it, you can now see at the bottom, we now have developer options available. Now just select developer options to open it and then scroll down until you get to the debugging section. As you can see, I'm in the debugging section and then as you can see, it says USB debugging. Just turn it on and then it will ask for confirmation to allow USB debugging. I'm going to click OK to allow it. After this, you then need to connect your phone to the PC via the USB cable. Android 11 and above does allow you to connect wirelessly and I cover that in a different video. When you connect your phone to your computer for the first time, you should get a confirmation for the connection on your phone as you can see here. You can click on always allow from this computer prevent further confirmations or just allow. I'm going to click always allow from this computer and then click on allow. After connecting your phone, we need to test that everything is working. To test, just open Google Chrome and then type in Chrome inspect. After a while, our device should come up here. Take note of this code as we should also see it in the ADB tools. Now open command prompt by typing CMD on the search bar and then selecting command prompt. When it opens up, just navigate to where we put our ADB files. For me, it is in the ADB folder in the C drive. So just type in CD and then C drive, 
colon backslash and then adb press enter and then as you can see we are now in the adb folder once in the adb folder just type in the command adb devices and then press enter as you can see we've got that same code that we got in chrome but just open it you can see it's the same and also device listed next to it if you get unauthorized here it means that you haven't allowed the connection between the pc and your phone so you need to allow it at this point you can now write adb commands to interact with your phone now for the bonus step instead of always going to the adb folder to run the adb commands just like what we did to get into this folder you can set it on the path and then have access to it anyway to do that just copy the location of the adb folder so if you go to your windows explorer and then just copy this path and then you open environment variables so on the search bar just type environment and then select edit the system environment variables when it opens up click on environment variables and then select path and then click on edit so what we want to do is to create a new entry so just click on new here and then paste the path that we just copied click on ok and then ok and then ok to save our changes now if you open command prompt you can see here that i'm not in the adb folder but if i type in adb devices you can see that it will work thanks for watching please hit like and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll catch you in the next one